with the weather forecast based on the Met Office Aviation F214, 215 and the TAFs being suitable for flying. There's an Australian pilot who's in Scotland for a month or so. He's uh, appearing at the fringe. Picked him up from Dundee Railway Station for a second visit across to Dundee and from a business trip up in Aberdeen, about an hour's work up there. Then we had the rest of the day free for flying. So we dropped down into the bay that's next Neg Bay and called up air traffic control to arrange special BFR clearance to make it legal to fly there. And Bluetooth on the other side. So, the pilot up flying here, but air traffic had not been opened, so dealt with that anyway, with a gentle word with them. One of the issues with flying sites like this is that sometimes, while it might be blazing sun down here, it does not meet the legal requirements to allow them to issue special VFR clearance for flying in controlled airspace. Busy talking to camera. So, uh, there's been quite a few days over the years when the guys who work in the oil industry locally have been wanting to fly, but they can't. Now, you may want to set up on the grass, just from the point of view of your wing. Yep. What can we say? Smile for the camera. Smile for the camera. Yeah. Right. Do you see the helicopter? Lighthouse looked vertically above and a couple of miles away. Checking the airspace, Keep refreshing the picture of where aircrafts are, whether they're on the ground or in the sky, including the helicopters, everything. The airspace is not just flying though, it's also checking where vehicles, people are. So peripheral vision, chaps there. Remember that uh, you're looking the whole thing around. Where you've got the sun in the right direction, which we don't have for this, you can also be checking the ground shadows. So, possible tangle there. You can see the dirty air. So it's too close, whereas if I go back to there, it reattaches as well as being there. So the best area, there. So the second you're losing it, you just stop particularly on this sort of stuff. Because it just peeled over, it doesn't do any damage to the wing. If you go beyond the cord of your wing, you're risking damage. Right, now, as discussed in the pickup en route, there's a wee training exercise to do here. Okay, I want you to tangle those lines. Chuck them through the middle of each. No, just tangle them up. Tangle them up. Yeah, you can do. It's easier if you haven't, but hey, make it make it a challenge. Yeah, just tangle it up properly. Okay, so yep. So pilot then fixates on the problem and it does things like that. Does that help at all? Let's strap on. Nope. Keep your feet outside the lines. 
identify clean A. Sentry, yep. Don't let go, don't let go, don't let go. Twig, branch, yep. Don't even look at it, shaking it out. Slacker it is, and the less you look at it, the better, which is difficult when you try to do a teaching video. Now I've reached the A. Yep, brakes love to tangle. Just shaking everything loose, keep checking the airspace. Brakes love to tangle. Now I've got one clean A. Shake that back. Now, does that look a bit messy in the middle there? Yep. Okay, so we've got this one is clean, put that to the side, and again, not even looking at it. Tease it out, shake it out. Most of these are illusions. Does that look better already? Yeah. Back to always recheck. Clean A, still clean. Mm -hmm. Running down. Okay, now, barbershop pole, you know, the candy twist? Yes. Do you see a twist there? Mm -hmm. Is that looking better? Already. Yeah, brakes love to tangle. There you go. Now, would it be handy to have the A's if I'm wanting to tidy this out? Yes. Yes. So how do I reach for the A's? Yeah, see it's just the drop away? Yep. Make the L. Okay. <laughs> Check the airspace and it's not the Midas thing, because I'm not trying to power up. Without saying on camera, because I don't want to give the answer away for the students, do you know why I'm doing what I'm doing just now? Whispering, whispering. Which hand do I write with? Right, right. So, you got it? Remember? Safe. Safety. Yeah, on the. On the right. Rather than. The left foot, I'm reversed. Yeah. Yep. Checks. Wait, 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 wait. Harness, harness, harness. Perfect wing. All yours. You're a magician. I'm a physicist, scientist, an engineer. I don't do magic. Let's go fly. Commit some aviation. Good check of the airspace, which in this case is the road, albeit it's not a through road at the moment, anytime you're powering up the glider. Now, what should you do before you clip in? Before you clip in. Okay, have you looked at the drag back area to see where the rocks are, where the metal barrier is? Did you walk and look at it? Okay, so you happy with that? Yes. All yours. Okay. Have fun. Right, I recommend you have fun. Start where wooden... Fly. Right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Check the airspace again. And bring her up. There we go. And notice the position crossed, tiptoeing on the heels. There we go. Up over the rock. Launching! Ready? Keep the roll in. Wee bit of thistle stuck into the knee there. Jump the cross. Wait for it. Set the roll again. Check the airspace. Looking good there. Lovely. Just a little bit 
fine tuning of the harness body position. It's launched nicely. Scoop here. There we go. And then second one. But there's less lift here because the wind blows round. So we'll touch and see what lady and the dog is. Afternoon. Somebody order a sunshade? Hello there. Nice beat, so I can come back into the bay there. So I'll stop off here and get on board. We can jump across to the far side. Now there's a hollow down there, so you've got to backtrack. Safer option is to backtrack. This time of year, you got all these bushes. So we'll see if we can jump a little bit across. Very dirty here. Not too surprising off that. You need a good height to be able to do it in a single pass over flight. Again, very dirty air there. Keeping the roll in. Tip's gone. So you can see how calm the water is. All the brake water on this side. Walking. Again, very dirty here. So what is sorable there? We'll go back and join the chap from Australia. Rather than flying there today. Now from this bit, however. You get through enough clean air, remember there's the steel spikes on the old girders. Light aircraft passing overhead. So you 
don't want to be landing into that lot. So it might be safe to drop the bike, we'll see. Hop! Watch the spikes. And roll at level. Fast downwind beat, so we get enough lift. We've got cross to downwind. Keep the speed on, keep the speed on, so I can get a zoom climb. There, a tiny zoom. Fast into the back of the bay. Check the airspace. Zooming up to touch. Now we've got the signs there. Backtracking up the slope. And launching! Space. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Mainly harness control. Just occasional wee assist with the brakes. Hop forwards in a second. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> right, tiptoe. Side slip, a vector side slip. So I'm leaning left with just enough deflection to bring me around, and then that'll give me a zoom climb up to touch. Okay. Check the airspace, popping up and over. A really good scoop on this bit. thistles rather than through them. Remember when you fly in front of the radar, which is the harbour radar, <laughs> you're flying in front of a microwave beam. Incoming! Yeehaw! Don't know 
what you're doing. But hey. So how much height did you have before you tried to go around the corner? Work the lift. So flick, staying crossed, makes it incredibly easy to get forwards now. So by staying crossed, you see how easy it is to 